Chapter 2 Season 8 is finally here. The mothership has exploded, showering the Fortnite island with an army of Kevin cubes. What's going to happen next? Well, we're going to go over everything you need to know in under five minutes. But hey, before we get into that, remember you can get the best one-on-one -on -one pro coaching over on ProGuides.com. So click the link in the description for that. Changes to the Fortnite map happen at the start of every new season, but if we're being honest, there aren't actually that many this time around. Cubes have fallen across the map, creating brand new corrupted areas that are called the sideways. These sideways areas are filled with terrifying creatures, all of which are trying to end your life. But cubes aren't the only thing that have fallen down to the Fortnite island. Shards of the destroyed mothership have been scattered around as well. In those locations, a brand new movement option has been added to the game, which seem to work incredibly similarly to Chapter 1's slipstreams. Purple energy beams are leaking from the down ship pieces, and jumping into them will send you soaring through the beam. It doesn't look like there are any brand new major POIs this season, but if what we know from the files is true, the golden cube is going to roll around the island just like the original Kevin did to spread its corruption over the course of the season, potentially creating brand new areas to explore. The Sideways is definitely going to be the focus of this season, and it seems like that's going to be the place that some of the new weapons come from. In the new season, we're going to have a Sideways minigun and a Sideways rifle. The Sideways minigun is said to gain fire rate when it's hot, while the rifle will gain extra damage. Though from the trailer, we also know there's going to be some crossbow dualies that haven't yet been added. The easiest way to get the sideways weapon seems to be with cube monster parts, which you can get from eliminating the new cube monsters. That won't be all you can craft from this season. Through nuts and bolts, you'll be able to craft charged shotguns, rapid fire SMGs, the full auto sniper, hunting rifle and bolt sniper rifle, though they won't be available off the bat, and finally, the suppressed assault rifle. According to the popular leaker Hypex, they are also working on a sideways shotgun and a sideways scythe to be added to the game further along in the season. That scythe will have a dash attack, smash attack, charge attack, jump attack, and the ability to steal enemy health with a siphon attack. Not only all of that, according to Defaultlin12, we'll actually be able to decide which fan favorite weapons that get unvaulted as well all thanks to something called the war effort. Across the course of the season, players will be able to deposit bars at funding stations to not just unlock these vaulted weapons, but also brand new weapons and turret stations across the island. Alongside the sideways weapons, there are some other new additions to the game. The Venom and Carnage symbiotes are mythics that can be found on the map each giving you the powers of a symbiote, which in Fortnite is basically the ability to grab enemies with a symbiotic arm and to soar with a symbiotic glider. There are also now shadow floppers. These are corrupted cube-styled floppers that will heal you slightly and allow you to enter a ghostly form. There will also be a shockwave launcher on the map, which isn't a mythic like Kit's shockwave launcher this time around, as well as a portal portal that will allow you to open up a breach to the sideways wherever you are. While it isn't on the map just yet, a new version of the Chug Splash has been added into the files and is currently codenamed Spicy Soda. This will basically be a Chug Splash that gives you the pepper effect, allowing you to run faster. There have been a ton of animals added to Fortnite over the course of the past few seasons. The latest addition are going to be crows and they'll actually be the first flying animal in the game. Later this season, a bigger unreleased flying animal that drops either a purple scar or a purple SMG on elimination will also be released. There has also been a change to boars, allowing them to dig and find items. Those are the biggest and most important changes this season. We hope you have fun. Remember to check out the rest of our videos and subscribe for daily tips to help you get an advantage over your enemies.